My name is Aaron Blackie, I represent Higgins Mission Fighting, Ross Jiu Jitsu and Team Content Training Centre. I'm fighting Sam Hibbard tomorrow night and I plan on having a good fight, demonstrating skill and getting a win however it comes. My name is Sam Hibbard, I'm fighting out of Absolute MMA in Melbourne and I'm fighting Aaron Blackie. Uh, I'm just really excited to fight MMA again. It's been uh, nearly 15, 16 months since my last fight. Um, a lot's happened since then. I've spent some time overseas training at Alpha Male. I've spent a little bit of time in Vegas training with John Wood at Syndicate. Uh, since then, I've moved over to Absolute MMA. I'm training with all those killers there, all those grapplers, really working on my stand up with uh, Tao and Simon and all those guys. And uh, yeah, I like fighting these undefeated guys. Uh, I like seeing what they've got. I don't think he's been. I don't think he's been pushed. I don't think he's been put in those bad positions. So let, let's see what happens. Our blue corner with a professional record of five fights and two victories. He weighed in last night at 66.3 kilos. Training under Travis Grubb, fighting out of absolute MMA in Melbourne, Victoria. Please welcome Sam Flubber-Huber. In the red corner at 66.3 kilos, five fights, five wins. Training under Dan Higgins, he fights out of the Higgins Submission Fighting Gym. Brisbane, Queensland, Aaron, the educator, Lucky. Crowd definitely behind Aaron Blackie here tonight. Our referee in charge is Tim Tarkennel. He will bring our two fighters to the center of the cage for our instructions. Okay guys, you know the rules. Let's have a good clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now. Let's get ready to do this. Take a quick look in the corner over there. Damien Brown, what a great training partner to have. Dan Higgins, just a badass coach. Damien beat down Brown. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, here Dan we Higgins. go. Can't underestimate the absolute this boys though. They've done well fighters. tonight. Round number one, Blackie. Yeah, very fast. Versus Hibbert. Look for Blackie, clinch straight away. Doesn't mess around, he knows where he's strong. He just looks to get them down and punish. Aaron Blackie looking very, very focused here tonight. Obviously for Hibbert, this wasn't a, a late notice fight, so he's been training this position a lot throughout his camp. to fight off this takedown attempt just to show Aaron that he can't take him down anytime he wants. Absolutely, Sam Hibbard, no stranger. To the cage, Aaron Blackie on an absolute tear in the featherweight division. This fight's scheduled for three five minute rounds in our professional featherweight division. Lucky working hard for the takedown. Chipping away with his knees. Hibbard's done a good job staying on his feet though, team. Great defense by Sam Hibbard so far. Good trip there. Judo. Good trip there by Blackie. But Great judo coming into play. But if you look at Sam, Sam straight back up. Straight back to the wizard. He knows how to wrestle. Absolutely no slouch when it comes to grappling is Sam Hibbard. Aaron Blackie still in full control at the moment. Looking to land that left knee to the head of Sam Hibbert. A little bit of chess happening here on the fence. Hibbert doesn't want to give up anything for the escape. Nor Blackie for the takedown. There we go. Tim Tarkennel has had enough. He'll center them up in the cage. And we're back to where we started. Superman punch counted by Aaron Blackie. Beautiful takedown. You think that was part of the game plan, Benny? I'm unsure about game plans these days. <laughs> Straight back to the same position that we've been in the whole fight. Let's see if Blackie can get takedown this time. Hibbert though, very impressed with his wrestling defense so far. Using that wizard well, dropping his weight when he needs to. Beautiful. By Aaron 
Blackie, but Sam Hibbert showing fantastic defence here in the first. Yeah, despite the slick judo from Blackie. Yeah. Watching at home, please appreciate the grappling game of our fighters here tonight. It is a chess match at times. Sam got the, got the figure four lock off the armbar. On, working, on the, working on the straight armbar there, Sam Hibbard. You get the tap, that's looking good. Sam very, Hibbard very, looking deep very. here. Could we see an upset here in the first, Benny? Oh. Beautiful defense there from Blackie. Sneaky, sneaky little straight armbar. Sneaky arm Sam. I don't know, T, that looked, that looked that close. Looked, that looked very close. A lesser soul would have tapped. Absolutely. Blackie's going to have to be careful now. Look at that little submission attempt. Yeah. Back here, Sam still not... Down on the ground. No, Sam definitely caught him off guard with that, yeah. with that sneaky armbar there. Showing now he's a gamer. Under a minute to go. He hasn't secured a takedown. Tim Tarkino has had enough once again. The second break of this fight. Crowd getting behind the boys now. Now he's leading with his hands. Shoots and in. Take down from Blackie. Attempting once again. Well, we've just got 30 seconds left in round number one. Sam Hibbert, Alan Blackhead, let's make some noise. A real grappling chess match here in round one as we count down the last 10 seconds. Well, there we've seen the grappling ace try and take down Hibbard for the whole round. Round two. round two underway as announced by Dave Ella. No one does it better. Blackie versus Hibbard. And Aaron Blackie looking to obviously execute what worked for him in the first round. So, Darren Nathan Cage side with Benny Elloway. Great to be here again on a Saturday night. Watching some fine fights here at Eternal 35 at the Southport Sharks Entertainment Arena. I'll tell you what, Benny, Sam Hibbard's defense is second to none. Doing a fantastic job of just almost boring Aaron Blackie with, with what he's trying to execute. Yeah, definitely didn't win the first round. Mm -hmm. But again, we've got Aaron Blackie out of the, out of the first round for the first time. Absolutely. I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he's prepared, but let's see how he how he copes mentally. Where we know Hibbard's definitely a tough opponent and probably been here a lot more than Blackie. Well, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Aaron Blackie, a judo and Brazilian jiu-jitsu Australian champion, undefeated in his mixed martial arts career. Sam Hibbard. Undefeated as a Muay Thai amateur. Looking to increase his professional record against Aaron Blackie here at Eternal 35. Here we go, he's reverse position. Now he's looking for his own takedown. Let's see how much gas Aaron's got the tank still. Even though going down to the ground with Aaron, it's still going to be dangerous. Huge thanks once again to our premium sponsors at Engage Industries. Once again, clothing our fighters here tonight, making them look almost as good as you, Benny Eloy. Sam Hibbard sporting. A flashy skull as he throws the spinning back fist. Spinning back fist. That's what he needs to do. He needs to separate, he needs to throw hands. And this is where we may see Sam Hibbard start to loosen up here as he oh, throws he a question mark kick. Whoa. 
Aaron Blackie making it out of the first round for the first time in his professional mixed martial arts career. Sam Hibbard, the experienced veteran, knows how to deal with these situations as Blackie closes the distance once again. Oh, looking for that spinning back. To look for it three times now in the clinch. Blackie got his hands locked low. Yep. He's just not having success with these takedowns, T. And drags him down finally. A hibbub straight back up to one knee. And to me, Benny, that's been, that's been most impressive is the takedown defense of Sam Hibbard and how well he's managed to get back to his feet so quickly. Yeah, he just he knows what to do. He's trained well. His coach has obviously done a good job. He's a coach himself, so if he's teaching his fighters, he's learning as well as coaching at the same time. Absolutely. The basics, great basics of what wins fights. Got a hold of Blackie's neck. He's been separated again. To the tar kennel. Blucky seems hesitant to push the action on the feet. Getting involved once again. He's a busy man tonight, is referee Timmy Tarkennel. Shooting. Damian Brown, UFC fighter. Just recently released, actually, in the corner of Aaron Blackie. No doubt getting some fair counsel is Blackie. Definitely, like we said before, Dan Higgins in the corner. Very experienced fighter and coach. Well. Absolutely. Both fighters not short of experience when it comes to... We've got about 200,000 years between them on all levels. <laughs> Mostly made up by Damian Brown, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I've travelled the world with that fella. We've, we've definitely flown, flown about 200,000 miles. Absolutely. But yeah. yes, definitely some great coaching coming out of that corner. And huge credit to the both of you for putting Australian mixed martial arts on the map. But again, great coaching coming out of absolute corner as well. Mm -hmm. Sam's doing very well. Last 10 seconds of round number two. Blackie versus Hibbard. Blackie still trying for the finally gets a takedown. Kimura sweeps. Sammy's got a hold of an arm here. Ooh, very close. Very, very close. Seconds down, third fight round on the line. Your thanks to Fight Night, the authors of my company, the team of building industry training and engage industries. Number <laughs> three. You have to wonder what's going through Blackie's mind right now into the third round. Big oh. up cup there by Sam Hibbard. And Blackie eats it like a cupcake. I tell you what, Sam Hibbard starting to loosen up right now. Third and final round. A bit of blood sleeping, seeping from the mouth of Aaron Blackie as he lands an overhead right of his own. And the pace has nice just picked switch. up a little Great bit here. Switch. In the third round, Benny. Now we're on the ground. Hibbard's on top. That was an absolute bomb by Sam Hibbard. He needs to keep control here. Don't let Blackie back to his feet. Now he's got good position. But again, he's two rounds down. He needs to go for the finish. The tables have changed Ooh. here in round number three, ladies and gentlemen. That knee, I heard that knee. Big knee again from Sam Hibbard. Aaron Blackie continues to stand in front of him. Looking for that uppercut. As he lands a left. Strike down the pipe, Benny. He's got to finish the fight, Hibbard. He's got to finish it. I don't think he's done enough in either the first or second round. Aaron Blackie, an absolute warrior, continues to march forward. Sam Hibbard looking more and more poised as the round goes on. And straight back to that position. His posture is what let him down with his takedowns. He can't put any force into the single leg. His spine's too bent. The top of his spine, he needs to straighten up his back. Get his head up. Sam Hibbard definitely rocking the socks off Aaron Blackie. Looking to land that elbow, that, that little stinger on the ear. Aaron Blackie hanging on for dear life at the moment. 
allowing himself to recover. Good elbows from top. Benny, I'm still stuck on that uppercut. He caught me off guard, did Sam? Yeah, I mean, it just seems like the logical thing to do. I'll tell you what. Especially the amount of shots Blackie's had throughout this whole fight. And look at Aaron Blackie. He is busted up. I tell you what, he's been dominant this entire fight. And that uppercut is finding a home for Sam Hibbard. I think we could see some trouble here. Aaron Blackie fighting for dear life here. Over the right, over the left, right eye there, T. Oh, good body kick from Hibbard. Mixing it up is Sam Hibbard. Oh, the question, question mark, mark kick. kick. <laughs> Blackie. Final two minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get them going. Another knee landed. Hibbard's taken full advantage of the gap that Blackie's given him in this third round. Aaron Blackie, what an absolute warrior. Blood seeping from the eye, and he just says, Still give me through. more. And an overhand right by Aaron Blackie. They're letting him go now, Benny. He yeah, needs to get off the fence. He's still got a minute, nine, a minute 30 to go. That knee was awfully close to the jaw. Good elbows. What a fight we have here in the third round. Just under 90 seconds. And a now beautiful takedown by Blackie. Sam again looking to pop straight back up to a knee. What a great finish of this fight, T. My goodness, we could see something special here, Benny. Hibbert needs to, he needs to separate and throw his hands just like he was doing. He's lighting Blackie up. Aaron Blackie eating shots like there's no tomorrow, but continues to move forward. Sam Hibbert landing at will here in the last minute of the third round. Blackie's been opened up in that left eye, too. Final his eyes about to fall out of his head. Oh, and goodness, spinning spinning, elbow. spinning back elbow by Sam Hibbert. Blackie looks hurt. Got 30 seconds to get a finish. My goodness, what a fight. Sam Hibbert needs a finish here. Oh, and, spinning. and again, looking to land. Final 20 seconds. Crowd getting behind. Oh, Blackie's what a finish. Spinning what a finish right by Aaron Blackie. Blackie looking to finish this fight. Sam Hibbert looks Here like he's off his feet. Look at these two go. Oh my goodness. What a fight. Fight of the night, no doubt about that. Benny Blanco, there is not one person standing in this arena. Aaron Blackie, you are a warrior. What an absolute cracker of a fight. Definitely in contention for fight of the night tonight. How about a round of applause for these two guys? In fact, as the judges see it, it is the closest fight we've had so far tonight. After three rounds, we have a split decision. It goes to the blue corner, Sam Hibbard. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner, Sam Hibbard. Sam, firstly, congratulations on a fantastic fight. What a war in the third round. How did you feel about your performance and did you think you'd get the win in the end? I thought he had it, to be honest. Like, I'm usually pretty hard on myself with these sort of things. He, it took me two rounds to get going. And that's just a testament to him. He come out, bought the pace from, from the get-go. But look, it's a pleasure coming down here to Eternal. Uh, big thank you to my, my team behind me. Travis Grubb, come down, one of my oldest coaches. I've been working with Tao, having a great time. Simon Carson, one of the best, like... Weight cut, easiest one I've ever had. You wouldn't know it fitness wise, but that was fantastic. Um, I'm just, yeah, thank you for you guys for having me here and props to Aaron, he bought the fight. Well, congratulations on a fantastic win. You moved to six and two in your professional mixed martial arts career. What's next for you, or should I say, who's next for you? I'll take it, but uh, I think the winner of the next fight. So I think uh, me and Michael Tobin have a little bit of unfinished business, so let's hope he gets a nod next time and I'll come back because that wasn't the best of me, guys. That was after a long layoff, so I'll see you in September. Sam Hibbert, ladies and gentlemen.